Hello, my beautiful friends. My name is Maria Khoreva and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I have the privilege to be giving a masterclass at the beautiful Diana Vishnova Context Studio here in St. Petersburg. And I have the beautiful girls who are going to be staying with me during this class. And I think this class is going to be kind of special because I've been learning a lot about Talioni class and Bournonville technique and Vaganova technique. And I was so inspired that I decided to give combinations that would combine and give a little bit of a clue of what that was supposedly looking like during these times. So hopefully the class is going to be interesting. So without the further ado, let's get into the video. Всем доброе утро. Ну давайте без лишних предисловий сегодня. So guys, this is my first time trying to voicing over a video. So hopefully it will be okay for you because I gave this class in Russian, but I'll try my best to translate it to English. So here right now I'm telling the beautiful girls that I was reading a lot about Vaganova, Cicchetti, Taglioni methods recently and that I was really interested to try with them at that day to try the ballet class that would be combining the techniques from the past. And I thought a lot about the combinations for this class and I tried to incorporate more of the repetitions in the combinations. So hopefully you will see some of these principles in today's class. And here I am telling that Vaganova method is really concentrated on the coordination of all of the body, of coordination of arms and legs, so that's what we were trying to concentrate. And the first combination is the warm-up, 16 batman tendu to each direction. Our pianist is Xenia and she's going to play the beautiful music. So we're doing 16 batman tendu, alternating the legs to each direction. turning out into the first position, not bending the knees. Stretching the knees to a maximum. Feeling the floor and making the first position very tight. Wiggle the hips, only the leg is moving. Tighter, the first position should be tighter. Heel to the heel. Quarter to the side, to the right. Stretching well. should be far away from the ear and pulling up while we bend to the back just underneath the shoulder blades good Plie. three and four opening the arm with the preparation two demi plies third demi plie with holding the arm and then doing the grand plie second grand plie changing the tempo a little bit changing the rhythm three demi plies one grand plie second grand plie and doing a demi rond to the fourth position Okay, opening the arm with the preparation. And arm is going, 
alternating with the, the whole body. Music a little faster. Holding the arm. One more grand plié. And slow tandu. Really working this foot well. And breathing in L and J every time. Following the hand with our eyes. Holding the back straight for the third demi plié. Trying to hold the back straight every time. Look, so we have to do during every plie arms together with the legs, not separately like the gymnastic moves, but everything coordinated together. We need to be learning to do these movements smooth from the very get-go, from the very beginning of the exercise. And while we're doing the demi-plié down, the back is pulling up, is kind of growing up. And the very important thing is to do this breathing movement with the whole upper body, opening the shoulders, opening the chest, the rib cage and kind of also growing with our upper body. Slow ground plie, doing very, very smooth movement. And getting up, even maximizing our turnout. And demi plie, plie combination to the left. Please pay attention to holding the ribs very, very tightly. 
opening the upper body, but closing the ribs, not bending the back. We are very flexible right now, and we might be doing arabesques and bending the ribs region, bending the lower back, but we should hold this region very, very straight, but only be opening with the upper body, with the very, very upper body. So now we're going to do a trick. We have legends from Marina Semenova times, from very, very old times, and there are legends that she did this combination straight after the plie, 16 Rambach monks to each direction. But we are not going to do the 16 Rambach monks, only the 8 Rambach monks to each direction, really, really holding the standing supporting leg very straight. Seven grand monks, actually not eight, but seven grand monks each direction, encore. And the eighth grand monk is going to be a pause, holding a beautiful arm and really separating the working leg from the supporting leg. Not looking down with our eyes, very important. Pulling up, not very high, just more concentrating on stability, and to the back. Pulling the back up, shoulders down. Don't look down. It seems like not a very important thing, but it is actually so crucial that not looking down actually makes you not tense up the neck so much. So I think that's very important to watch over your eyes not looking down. To the left, please. knee, not wiggling the hips, watching the beautiful wrists and the beautiful arms, shoulders down, a little bit lower the hand, lower the arms, it should be just a little bit lower than the shoulder level. Before closing the arm, a little bit of a breather with the chin and with the upper body. We will do the two combinations of Bakmantandu. The first combination will be for repeating, for repetition. And Vaganova writes that in Bakmantandu we should be working on our turnout in that way that in Allegro and on center we will not think about the turnout anymore. So Bakmont and you a la bar is for this principle for really working on the turnout and on the muscle memory of the turnout. And we will try to think about that during this combination. Four Bakmont and you to the front, four to the side, four to the back, and four with the inside leg, with the other leg. Closing the arm and coordinating with the arm to the back into an arabesque. Oh, sorry, <laughs> not to the front, but to the side. And coordinating with the arm to the front and four with the inside leg to the back. So the first croix to the front and to the back is going to be without an arm and the second time repeating the full combination is going to be coordinating with the portebra in the arm. 
Okay, let's start. Tight fit position every time. To the back. Pulling up on the supporting hip, not going back. And on the down. To the back, then to the side, front and the inside leg. Really working on that turnout on that muscle memory of keeping the perfect geometry. And now we are going to coordinate with the arm. To the third position. Arabesque. So arm is soft, legs are our rhythm and arms are our melody. Spreading the movements with the music. Arm is slow, but the legs should be rhythmically perfect. And the arabesque. Arabesque, да? Опять же, все время самая верхняя точка вот здесь. Our tallest point is in our upper region of the chest. We cannot keep our arm higher than our chest and our legs higher than our hips. We are trying to pull this region the highest in our body at all times. This way we will keep this ballerina feeling at all times. If we keep our elbows and chest and hips pulled up at all times to the left now feeling every finger And one, two, three. And three buff mountain zoo in fifth. Three faster buff mountain zoo. Transferring through the fourth position. Second position. And seventh quicker buff mountain zoo in first position with border bra. Degage, stay, stay. And opening the hip. Pulling up on the supporting hip. Not going back. But really pulling up. Closing the arm, coordinating with the arm, with Bordebra. Transferring your weight a little bit further every time you do a transfer through the fourth position or through the second position. Fifth, fifth, fifth. fifth. I'm really accentuating here that we should be doing a tight fifth position. Pulling our stomach in and holding it strong when we are doing the seven bar mountain using in first position. Please and start. Straight knees, 
hinzuzunehmen. Could a pie and change. For jete, pique, pique, close, could a pie and change. For jete to the side. Pique, pique, close, could a pie change. Retire, pulling up. For the tape, pique, pique, closing, could the pie and changing. Looking that the heel should be very, very turned out. For jeté to the side, pique, pique, closing, changing the coup de pied, keeping the turnout in mind. And pique, pique, closing, en croix, and retiring. Everything on the dong. And pique, pique, close. Coup de pied changing. To pique, not wiggling the hips, staying strong with our hips and our core. Keeping this nice relaxed expression in the neck and head. And pique pique to the back, then to the side, pique pique close, to the front, pique pique close and retire. Every time we do retire, we are doing a little bit ahead of music. It's not just only one leg, we are feeling with the whole body. We are feeling pulling up with the whole body and we are finishing the PK to already do the retire. So we are not doing it mechanically, but we are again using our coordination. And also, I am telling about the neck position a little bit to the ear. And every time we do jete, we are closing the leg, we are pulling up even more. When we are doing jete and pique to the back, I'm really feeling the butt muscles, the inside thigh and butt muscles. I'm really feeling like I'm holding it very strong and it helps me to pull up even more and not minimize the turnout even when I'm doing the jetés to the back. Full body. 
we were doing Kuzi Pei, growing up on the hip, on the supporting hip. закрыли и многие сделали рам рам парам парам и и и просто за так закрыли руку и не просто одна рука to close the arm Хорошо, a little bit before and some of you did it just mechanically but the arm is the continuation of the movement of our upper body we are feeling the coordination of upper body and the arm and before the retire I'm already getting ready to do a breathing movement with my upper body and my arm together to make it a dance really not the gymnastics but really the dance which includes the movements of the full body. So now the combination of Ludmila Valentina and Kovalova, my teacher from Bogdanova Academy. Develop a with different leg every time, a little bit higher than 90 degrees. It's important to get to the finishing point of develop A. To get there, to straighten the leg and show the position and close. Show the, the, as perfect of a position as you can and pulling up. Not gripping onto the bar, trying to feel that we can let the bar go. And ideally, of course, we should be doing this uh, Exercise almost without the bar. A little bit more energy. Already out. More out. Fifth sutanu. Not staying long in the tiri position. Coming to the straight leg as fast as you can. Showing the beautiful arches. Fast jete. Soft. Soft for creating contrast with the sharp jetés. Soft plié balançoire, soft plié balançoire, four en croix, and seven in the first position. soft. Not bending the knee when you're closing in the fifth position. Every time showing the fifth position. Do an LNJ, please, for me. 
and you're looking down, the gaze is really elongating this breather, lift the chin up, and look at yourself in the mirror here, not down because down is boring, but really lift the chin up, good, better, thank you. Now experiments? I don't know, but I really like this combination when I did it. Eight round jump right here. But every time we feel that only one leg is moving, nothing else. Everything is pulling up, but only one leg is doing the movement. And now we're on the layer. One and two, and one, two, three, faster, two times, then one, two, three, closing, jeté passe, 45 degrees, and preparation underdog. In all of the old methodology books, Ronde Jean Parter and Ronde Jean Manlier are done together. We are doing eight round de jambes par terre, three faster, three faster, three faster, fifth position and opening 45 degrees. One, two, one, two, three round de jambes en l'air, one, two, one, two, three round de jambes en l'air, three more round de jambes en l'air, closing the fifth position and jeté passe, 45 degrees and finishing. Pour de bras we are going to do later. Front of Jean-Paul Terry. Now three faster. Three more faster. And three more. Closing fifth position to the back, Tanti opening 45. And three faster. 45 degrees, not higher. Three more. Putting down slowly, first position and jeté passé, 45 degrees. Preparation on the down. Combination for the stamina. Okay, we need stamina, so quickly to the left. It's all good, but you are late. 
great every time with the music. All the straw, it's just a little bit left. Not forgetting to do an LNG and add a little bit of expressiveness even when it's so hard for us. It's gonna be easier on stage if we keep in mind the expressiveness of the dance when we are doing these stamina combinations. When we're doing allonge, we're not lifting the arm too much up, but we're elongating more so in Vaganova method. Jete passe, we're working on control and smooth movement. We are not trying to lift the legs up, but we are working on the quality of the movement. We all have a tendency to really grip onto the bar and go to the back with our body. We should be pulling up not too much to the front with our upper body, but really pulling up on the hip and really watching how we're not going to the back. Now we're going to do port de bras separately. Front and back, side and side, then front and to the back on the passe, then stretching down, and port de bras to the side in the fourth position. Very important to pull up on the hips. Really trying to stretch the side. Not bending in the lower back, but just to the side. And the arms are staying in perfect positions and doing a punche and staying in an arabesque on demi-point. Very, very important to really almost like feel the strong muscles, very, very strong muscles of the legs in the fifth position, even tensing them up. Not going back with the hips during the port of our front. For me, I feel like it's very, very important to hold the strong legs during the port of bra, maybe even more important than during some of the exercises for the legs. Strong stomach, strong abs. Thank you. 
Бахман Фонджи. Три и четыре. Ну, вернее, та ти та. Раз и два. On to the front, through the first to the back end, coup de pied. Double fondue inside leg. Double fondue inside leg. On the down, to the back through the first, pulling up on coup de pied with the arm allongé with a bit of upper body to the side. Double inside leg, double inside leg to the back. Анкуа, фонджи, и анкуа, дубл фонджи. И сутни. Фонджи is very important to coordinate with the arm. The full body is already doing this movement. Фонджи through the first and pulling up the coup de pied. Two doubles inside leg. Fondue to the back through the first, coup de pied, arm allongé, two double fondues to the back. Ankua, and ankua double fondue, with the arm, with the point of right in the arm. Right and left together. Inside leg to the back through the first to the front and now put the play and arm along shape for the bra. Listen to the music. Run for to each direction without the port of right in the arm, just holding the upper body. A double with the port de bras. The chest is our upper point of the body, the highest point of the body, not the arm. Susan, your left. In fondue, the leg is not just bending, the leg is doing the movement, the leg is doing the plie intentionally. And that way, if we do it intentionally, we can stay with the music. Frappe now. Раз и два и три, ну чуть поспокойнее будет. И, и демирон медленно, демирон и рам. Four frappe, three faster, and then demirond with control. Демирон внимательно, очень сложно, но надо постараться. Демирон with attention, opening the hip. Три демирон. И потом раз, два, три. Four frappe, three faster, and demirond to each direction. On quoi? Right and left together. Спокойнее. Showing the coup de pied. Pointing the toes. Now going to the back.
это немножко не так выучено. Я вот недавно смотрела французов, они просто вот так вот... I was watching the French school recently, and they are doing their beautiful coup de pieds. And they have beautiful feet, and the coup de pied French school is something mesmerizing to me, so I think it's very, very important for the lower legs technique, which is sometimes underlooked, under, underestimated. Now adagio. Run, run de jambe. Développé, face on plié, and demi run de jambe. And one. And tombe. Développé, écarté, through the fifth position, double round, and closing. Run, run de jambe. And now very important to open FSA on one. Very important to feel again the collarbones, the highest part of our upper body, not the leg. The leg should not minimize our expressiveness of the upper body. So we still should be pulling our chest up and keep it beautiful. It may be even better to hold the leg lower, but to still keep the shape of the whole body beautiful. So now I'm explaining how to perform the combination musically, not to be late for the music. Please do not be late, especially after run round. Adagio is slow, but we still should keep all of the musical accents clean. It gives our body discipline. Into the back. Now on one. Passe. And plié. Écarté. And passe front. And tombe.
все равно не срабатывает. Вот мы провели, мы сделали это. Это better, but still not perfect. Набирайте и за так, чтобы успеть. А вы мыслите. Рам пам пам. Stay ahead of music. И потом получается какая-то такая дерганная штуковина. Рам пам пам. We're staying too much in the previous pose and not thinking about what is next in the combination. Ра та та там па 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 пам. Не. Рам та та там. Пара та та там. И раз, видите, чуть-чуть, как бы, чуть-чуть приподнялись для того, чтобы уже успеть сделать это движение. Ну, батманы мы с вами уже делали, даже давайте не без батманов, уже и так немножко мало времени осталось. Палочки. So we will not do the grand batman's second time, because we already did them in the beginning of our bar. Now we're trying to figure out how to take the bar. Палки убрать. Ваганова. And now we're starting the center. Никаких растяжек, считаю их не ненужными, особенно. So Vaganova wrote that she thought that the stretching exercises were not useful at all for the ballet dancers, especially the stretches when we put the leg on the bar and stretch like this. But now we have so many more extreme stretches. And I personally actually think that the stretch when we're putting the leg on the bar is very useful now. And I feel like the flexibility is now really affecting the belly exercises. So it's really interesting to note this. Because nowadays the ballet technique is really different because we are flexible and more flexibility is required. And I feel like for staying flexible we need to do more exercises to also keep the muscles strong. And now let's start doing the first adagio. Rumpley in fifth position. Develop a front and demi run to the ala second. Passe e face. Passe attitude e face. Alange. Really stretching and bending in the ribs. Holding the diagonal. The long, long diagonal. A little bit lower, the left arm is lower and the shoulder is lower. And we are really feeling the left shoulder blade. It's really tempting to do not a straight diagonal, to lower the wrong shoulder in the Alan J position. We are holding every pose in its character. The pose is already expressing our state, our emotion. Left and right together. Fifth position, croise, grand plié. For many of you, is not holding its shape. So if we just concentrate on the leg, it's just gymnastics. But if we concentrate on the pose, on the emotion, on the position, on the diagonal, it's already adding poetry. It's adding expression. 
And that's what we are looking for in ballet. Пожалуйста, не опаздывайте. Let's do all together the LNJ. Let's try doing like you are really flying far away. Don't open the rib cage. Pull it up. And really stretch the collarbone, stretch the diagonal to the front, not to the back, but front like you are really flying somewhere. Lower the supporting arm. Straight to the diagonal. Stretching the collarbones region and going towards the diagonal and up. And we're feeling the air with the elbows. We are helping our, ourselves with the elbows. Fast kanji. Everyone together. Four tanju front croise, transferring through the force. Remembering Vaganova, working on the turnouts that we don't think about it during Allegra, during jumps. That's what Bachmann tanju is for. One tanju on floor. Retire on dummy point and changing. Four to the front, transferring. Four to the back. On croix, en face. Releve, retire, balance. And the same combination with Mahmoud and Dujete. Holding the supporting hip very strong. Okay, everyone together, turns you and Jete. What's your name? Masha? Masha gets the prize for the best fifth position. But please watch 
that you should be standing on your whole surface of your foot. You can try it by lifting the toes, not rolling in. It's very, very important. And you can correct yourself by lifting the toes. And you will understand that you are using the whole surface of your foot. We're going to do the second adagio. Sliding a little bit further for the arabesque. Arabesque plié pas de bourrée. Again, sliding on the floor in attitude, looking with the pose, looking into the, the elbow, I don't know, underneath the elbow. And then we do the rang verse. And holding the balance in passe again a little bit longer. Arabesque, plie. Not to the back, but pulling forward towards the arm. Okay, let's try. The upper body goes towards the arm. We are pulling forward, but we are doing it with the full construction together with our hip, not just the upper body, but the full body. An attitude croise with the turned out supporting foot, really sliding through the floor and feeling the floor. And it's better to hold the leg lower, but please, please, please do the upper body, do the pose in the upper body. And plie, an arabesque, fai. Bending underneath the shoulder blades. Ranverse, pas de bourre, and balance in the fifth position, and then passe. Arabesque, plie, pas de bourre, to croise, port de bras, closing. Other side, arabesque, fai, ranverse, pas de bourre, releve, and balance in passe. Чуть-чуть сдвигаемся туда и назад. И постараемся не убиться. Let's try not to kill each other during this adagio. Or maybe we can do three groups. Okay, let's do three groups. Let's try doing beautifully this not very hard combination. Preparation croise. And when we're doing the arabesque, let's do the direction a little bit flatter so that we can manage our space. Croise, turn out of the back leg, shoulders down, beautiful pose. We should already do the pose to not be late. You're doing arabesque. 
Christ on two. We should already hit the pose on one. Good, but Ksenia, play for me, please, already. So you do like this. Of course, I'm exaggerating. What you need to do ahead of music, remembering the combination, keeping the combination in your head. When the teacher is giving the combination, please try doing it already in your head musically. And hit the pose straight away. Keep in mind that you should finish the previous movement a little bit earlier to hit the next pose on time. So you should be spreading your movements across the music. And here I need to be very, very early because I'm getting ready to do a nice arabesque, nice fast arabesque. So we should be keeping the musicality in mind at all times. It's really looking much better. Thank you, guys. It's really important because dance is going from the music. It's the tradition of doing a class together with the pianist. We are seeing the notes of the music with our bodies. It's the essence of the dance. It's the main rule of the dance. From the music, we take the character of uh, our movements, the quality of our movements. But if we are listening to the music, the quality already gets so much better, the quality of our movements. If we have the accent, if we do the arabesque with the accent, our muscles automatically became, become stronger. If we do something softer, we add the control to some parts of our body, but we add softness to some other parts of our body. So it's really important because even subconsciously, when you listen to the music and try singing with your body the, the, the music, the muscles work totally different. So now we're doing the pirouettes. First from the fifth position. And in fourth position. Preparation, period from fifth position. Retire, period from fifth position to the fifth position. And then retire to the fourth position. Relevé, and then periods from the fourth position. Very important to hold the nice first position in the arms. Preparation, touch, kiss, pet, edin, preparation, touch, kiss, pet, preparation, четвертый, релеве, и много топчиков. 
Пожалуйста. position turn out and clean pirouettes lower part of the butt muscles don't go back with it pull it up hold it strong Okay, second group, please. The plie with control, not going back with the butt. We're holding this muscle when we're going down with control. Preparation before the pirouette, we are staying and then we are lowering the heel of the supporting leg first and then we are going down with our hips. Because when the legs are tight, you'll do like this, back with your hips. But we need to train not going back. When we're not tired. Now I'm doing the second period combination. Balance the attitude and balance the arabesque. Внимательно. Тоже здесь музыкальная перебивка. Будем не быстро играть. Pay attention to the music. Рам, пам, пам, аттитюд. И здесь внимательно, да? Аттитюд. Акцент или аттитюд. Мы уже держать в уме, что мы с бедра этого будем. And we are keeping in mind that we are going to do a balance to the side, pulling this hip up and continuing the movement with your hip. Да, руки после аттитюда будут просто открываться, да? То есть просто. Just opening the arms after an attitude. Все на нюансах. Балансе аттитюд. Балансе арабес в длину. Fast releve and double pirouettes in fourth position. Double pirouettes finishing in an attitude. Part of a round turn on fifth position and chene finishing the combination. In preparation, we releve in fifth position. And balance in not hips to the back, but hips to the side, transferring the weight. Nice sharp arabesque. Not many pirouettes, but looking over the clarity of our movements. Balance attitude. Balance arabesque. На препарацион вскакиваем в пятую позицию, руки в третьей позиции. Пожалуйста. Thank you. 
not in one place, but really to the side. Straight weight with the left leg. Finishing the pirouette on the left leg. Strong. We can do a little bit of jumps. Plie with control. We're not just hoping like the balls, but just controlling our jumps with intention. And relevé, turning out our hips. И точно так же потом будем прыгать, держа это в голове. И раз, и два, па-пам, па-пам. Раз, и два, та-та-там, па-пам. Восемь шажман. Раз, два, три, четыре, пять, шесть, семь, восемь. И лево. Раз, и два, та-та-та-та. Ту сотэ релеве, ту сотэ релеве. Секунд позицион. И тэн эйт шанжбон дэ пьэ ин фэд позицион. Ну, только, пожалуйста, не вскакивайте, а выжимайтесь выворотно вот этими местами. И плечки вниз. И вот эта вот грудина опять же подтягивается. Опенинг дэ чест. Пожалуйста. Doing today in class, we are applying to the jumps. A jump on the pie. Clean foot position. Not going back with our hips. Just pulling up, down and up. You are pulling our shoulders up every time a little bit when you jump. Please do not do that. You are just using our, your legs to jump. And your body is one straight line with the center. Do not wiggle your shoulders. Don't tense it up. Tense them up too much. But just keep them relaxed and down. Try holding your abs as strong that you don't need to hold your shoulders strong. And please do a soft releve every time. Don't hop onto a releve, but just with control roll into it. To relevé, roll through your feet. Good. 
ШП. Три и четыре. И раз, и два. И раз, и два. И дальше. Раз на одну ногу. Три и четыре. Two Эшапе. simple ашапейс, and then continue ашапе on one leg. Папам. Четвертая, вторая, четвертая, вторая. Эшапе, эшапе. Руки будут в подготовительном положении, да? Arms. Папам. Нога спереди будет идти спереди. In position. Тарам. In preparation position. Тарам. Падебуре. Парам. 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 Эшапе, эшапе. Передняя нога назад. Та-та-там. Та-та-там. Па-па-пам. Two simple echapes, three echapes on one leg with coup de pied to the back, and then fourth, second, fourth, and fifth. First, opening the arms with the echape, but then holding the arms in the preparation position and lifting the butt every time we jump. Ассамбле. Здесь ассамблея тоже, да? Вот это вот низ попы подтягивается, и ноги собираем. Pulling up, jumping with the muscles of the legs. Not pulling up with the core, but using the big muscles of our legs every time for assembly especially. Пожалуйста, две компании. Не слишком быстро, чуть-чуть. А, ну нет, нормально, мы поместимся. Постараемся поместиться. Давайте, сделаю с вами. A little bit of a wrong coordination. Please catch the moment when you should feel the air. You open the leg and try to start lifting the hips a little bit earlier and pushing yourself up with the supporting leg a little bit earlier so that you can close the legs, pull the legs together in the air and so that you can feel the right principle of the jump. But the body, the upper body should still stay straight. We should not be hiccuping with our shoulders down and not hips to the back. Please, please, please. Не 
and not a single person did an assembly with the head. It's very, very important to turn the head. Even if it's hard to jump, we still should be giving, again, giving the expression with turning the head. It's these simple movements that create the dance. Now, jeté combination. Assembly pulling up. Beautiful fifth position. Do you remember we did tondu to work on our turnout for allegro? We are going to use this principle in jeté. The legs should be working like they did during the bar. Strong, intentional plié, like we did in fondu, we use it in jeté. Very nice, but you skip the moment of catching the air. You're lifting the leg a little bit too high and the hips are going backwards, but you should be pushing yourself just up, down and up with the muscles of your legs. You should be just in time to get the leg to the side and to catch the air at the exact moment that the leg goes up to 45 degrees. So we really need to catch this coordination. Okay, friends, we did a great job today, thank you so much. So Bournonville used to finish the class with 32 entrechassis, but we are not going to do that today. Just thank you so much and thank you to Ksenia for playing beautiful music and thank you so much.